Get a little hotter now. Well, it is. A, it's getting freaking hot out, dude. It's uh, fucking springtime. It's fucking May. It's fucking May, dude. It's just in Timberlake. It's going to be May. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic freaking May. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic yeah. freaking... Isn't it wild? It's almost the middle of the year. Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. It's been fast. And furious. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, but it's going to be... two weeks. It's going to be big. We got our tickets for that, too. Oh, dude. Yeah, we'll do that after this, because we got next weekend... We're or next week, a week from today, we are going on a road trip to Kansas City, and we will talk about this on the podcast probably in a few weeks. Probably a week after. Yeah, a week so after the like thing. Two weeks. Yeah, uh, we're gonna see Tenacious D live. Which both of us have been obsessed with Tenacious <laughs> oh, dude, D. It's gonna be fucking wild. With I think that I think favorite that, band when we live together. I think just that trip will probably just be a whole episode. Yeah, for because sure. Because we'll you know go out, hang out, get dinner, and take blah, blah, notes, blah. On yeah, shit. take notes, and fucking yeah. get drunk and high maybe. So we haven't done a road trip just the two of us in a while. Or no, yeah, it's been a while because yeah. Izzy was a part of Tough Mudder. Yeah, I don't remember. When was the last time we did? Before we broke up? Maybe. Probably. Isn't that wild? Yeah. And now we're here to document the process. <laughs> well, we appreciate you guys freaking being here to listen to the process. Listen to the freaking chaos that is our lives. That is Moist Monday. Happy freaking Moist Monday. Let's get into it. Let's play some fucking ukulele and sax. What a song, dude. Uh, yeah, we we got shots poured. Yeah. So um, when better time to do it? What's that? When's a better time to do it than now? When better time? When better time to do it? Do now. Do it now. Big shot. When it's better great. time shot now? Do it. It's with us. Moist Monday. Moist Monday. Cheers. Cheers. We're drinking some uh, Irish whiskey. Ooh, that's good. I'm not. Ooh, yep, yep. Lingering that one a little bit. So that one was a good shot for me. Yeah, that one was a good shot, but it's the flavors lingering. That's the weird thing about. I feel like it's especially Irish whiskey because Jameson, we take those shots a lot. It's like if it splashes in your mouth at all, worst shot you can take. Yeah, like because it it's so throws strong. you off. Yeah. It's sharp, but like if it goes down well, nothing. It's so it, good. Yeah, this this was pretty good. This is we're drinking twelve year. I think that's what it's called. Okay. 12 year. I'll get a photo. Ooh. It's probably something else. I did tequila the other night. That was really good. We should try that. I'll look into which one that was. Uh, okay. I, I would like to get into tequila because it's a clear li- liquor. Well, and it's the only alcohol that's an upper. Whoa. So when we hang out during the day on Mondays and we're getting day drunk, tequila might be it's the way to go. It's an upper. It's the only alcohol that they say is an upper. That's wild. Yeah, because I thought alcohol was a depressant. Everything else is besides tequila, apparently. I mean, that's what they say, I think. I mean, it is... Okay. Yeah. I guess, you know. Because what's the one kind of like liquor you don't get drunk off of? Or what, like, what don't you drink? Oh, what don't I drink? I drink fucking, if it's free, dude, fucking hand it over. But like, are you ever grabbing a gin? No, I. Are you ever grabbing a rum? Oh, dude, I. Oh, because you like. um, I like Malibu. Oh, okay. But also you like that rum drink better. You like mojitos. Wait, that's that's with tequila, I think. Is it? Okay. I think so. It's a different, it's a, it's my version of a margarita. Margaritas always, tequila. Yeah. So I, I think, think mojitos are rum. Are they? Margaritas are tequila. Yeah, but I think mojitos have... Okay, oh, I don't okay. know. Maybe we should look it up before people are like, you guys are a fucking idiot. Which is um, this fucking podcast. But anytime I'm at a Mexican restaurant, I order a mojito. I always do margarita. Um, I'm just not... A, I like like a strawberry margarita. I can get down with flavored margarita. But like a mango. regular, oh, a regular no. lime, Never not do a regular, Yeah, regular no. lime sucks. Strawberry or mango if they have it. Okay, yeah. Mango's I can get down with flavored margaritas. Pineapple. Yeah. But man, a freaking flavored mojito is so good. But they're kind of expensive. Like well, we have canned mojitos here right now. Oh yeah, you do. The Cayman Jacks; those are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mojito vodka. Oh, it's a vodka drink. Okay. You drink a vodka drink. You drink a whiskey drink. You get knocked down. You get back up again. Mm-hmm. Isn't that wild? That's like the verse of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a weird song. Yeah. Tub thumping. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why it's called that. <laughs> what the heck? Right, what were we talking um, about? But, oh, about type of alcohol. Yeah. You so don't I drink. usually avoid. 
I don't. I never buy gin except for that one time we did it. Yeah. Um, everything else, I think I. I think I mostly just buy. See, I don't beer like beer. I don't or, like rum either. Or whiskey. You know, because I will. If I'm buying, I will do whiskey, beer, and then maybe. Well, there's types of vodka I like, like a cucumber vodka. Yeah, but I never buy it. Like, well, I'm I saying like, that's the one I'll yeah. buy. Yeah. Cucumber vodka and lemonade, one of my favorite drinks. I mean, that sounds good, but like if I'm going to the liquor store, I'm always, I never look at the vodka either. Sure. Uh, even though you can make really good drinks with it. Yeah. Um, but, and, and you, I usually, cause I don't know much about it, but I, I usually just ignore tequila. I just go straight for the whiskey. Yeah. You know, if I'm buying a bottle. We did Terramata for a while. Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good, but that was only because of Fast and Furious and The Rock. Which, which wasn't coming back, but not The Rock's not, I guess. What if anyone else had, like, John Cena? I w- I'm oh, sure shit. some of them. Well, John Cena's a Guinness dude. I know that. Oh, is he really? Yep. That would make sense. Um, I think like um, what I feel like one of them would have a like Ludacris probably Ludacris. has something. Yeah, Ludacris would probably have like a yeah. Look up if Ludacris has a drink. Yeah, I'd be curious if I would not be what's surprised. The, what's the type of dr- there's a type of drink that I'm picturing that like I've never had before. Ludacris liquor. Yeah, liquor. I'm, I think he has one. Um, cognac. Cognac, yeah. I don't think I've ever had a cognac before. Chris Ludacris Bridges. Um, what what type of like, conjure I, cognac? I don't even know what cognac is. I've I never had either. cognac. What even is like? Does it give a better description, or is it just cognac? Because like, what's vodka? Yeah, true. But I know, but I know what it is. Yeah, but, <laughs> but I like, don't, but like, it's copper so wild. color cognac, cedar, cocoa, and hazelnut. Hints of vanilla, apricot, dried prune. Whoa! I don't okay. fucking know. But it's a liquor. So okay, that'd be cool. That'd be curious if we could find that. Yeah, maybe when we review the Fast X, Conjure Fast Cognac. Ten, your seatbelts. Super excited for that. <laughs> um, but we're going to talk about other things besides Fast and the Furious. Yeah, this is a mainline episode, guys. Don't get worried. Even though they're their best performing videos, I know. <laughs> um, so I, I have a few topics today. This one, <laughs> or do we start with? What's in my hand? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Okay, <laughs> let's start with Jacob got a new toy. I do. Cause I was here when you came in the mail and you go, oh, my God. I forgot I, I ordered forgot it. I forgot I ordered it. <laughs> and you open it and I go, what the fuck is that? It is called a jaw harp. Some people call it a jew harp. That that just seems problematic, so we're going to call it a jaw harp. It's a jaw harp. But like when you go, Google it, a lot of like, videos say like jew harp. Probably like a third of them. And which, I, yeah. I'm quoting others when I say yep. this. Like I'm not, I didn't name it. Yeah, jaw harp. Never thought it's, called a Jewish harp either. What's wild is I didn't know this existed until you got it. And then, and then I got home that night and my TikTok was filled with jaw harp videos. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? How did it? You want to turn mine up a little bit? Yeah, let's. Uh, I'll turn this up. Here we go. Let's play some jaw harp. <laughs> Ow, fuck. It fu- It smacks your tongue and teeth so much. It because fu- I read reviews or because I watched a video on how to do it, and he was like, "If you have this kind, it was this kind." He's like, "It's no good. Throw it out. Get a better one." So, like, God damn it! Yeah, yeah, I just got it. So yeah, I, I, I want to learn how to play. But at least the basics. But like one person was like, "Yeah, I broke my teeth on that one." I was oh like, "Oh God. shit." Dude, that's some Dude, it'd be so funny. Ass teeth. It'd be so funny if you if, if that's how I get injured. If that's how you get injured is a jaw harp and not freak show. <laughs> like, all right, let's play it again. Name name a song. Uh, let's do freaking "You Are My Sunshine." You know that song? Yeah. <laughs> See if you can play it on jaw harp. Uh. <laughs> I can't get the high part. I'm going to start over. <laughs> Sing along if you know it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Dude, dude, that, dude. Yeah. It sounded like you hit metal. Right. Well, it hit my tooth. <laughs> ah. Dude, that sounds so brutal. I tried to do the higher notes and it hits my fucking teeth. Dude, I mean, it makes a weird noise. Could you hear it though? I could hear it because yeah. I knew what the song it was, so yeah. I could just I knew the rhythm. Oh, so you want me to try to do a song without telling you it? I would never guess it because it's just gonna sound like. All right, I'm trying to think of a good song. I don't know why when you said name a song, you are my subject. Like, I know that was a weird one. <laughs> I like my mind blanked except for that. Like, if you told me to name another one, I'd go, I don't know. <laughs> I think that was the only <laughs> the, song you can think of. It's the only one on your mind. Okay. <laughs> right, let me try and think of a good song. Yeah, that would be on Jaw Harp. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. 
<laughs> what a weird instrument. Let us know if you've ever known about the jaw harp because I have never heard of it. Or if you have any recommendations so I can get better at it because I don't know how to play it. Yeah, this is a great this is a great medium to use to get better at it because it's an audio medium so you can play your jaw harp for the audio listeners. All right, I'm going to try a song. Oh, you got one? Yep. <laughs> okay, let me turn the mic up again. <laughs> I'm nervous. <sighs> I'm going to be doing more like a lyrical cover instead of like it'll instead be some music <laughs> elements, but it's more like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Just a second, this is the chorus. Okay. <laughs> why'd you play one note and then take a massive pause? Because that's how the song... It was Sweet Caroline, my new nightmare. Oh, why, do, why was my brain going... My my first thought was, rock and roll ain't noise pollution. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were playing at first. But then I was like, oh, that doesn't line up at all. Well, so if you think about the first line of the chorus... Hands. <laughs> Hands, hands, <laughs> touching hands, <laughs> touching right. you. Yeah, I didn't even get to that. Well, because I was waiting until I get to the bop, bop, bop. I knew I'd break it. It's just like so, like, <laughs> it's just oh, noise. If you were to break a tooth on the podcast, <laughs> think about how big that clip would be. Probably not big at all, and we'd be so disappointed. <laughs> I would hope it'd get big because that money would be used to pay your medical bills. There you go. Yeah, fix my. But we're not even tooth. monetized yet, so nope. we wouldn't get anything. <laughs> Recommend us to your friends so we can get monetized. Yeah, so we, we can, can get start a- making a dollar <laughs> per episode. <laughs> It is wild. So I like, mean, we're putting out this quality entertainment. I don't know what you're yeah, we're playing the is. fucking jaw harp yeah. on the podcast. No, that but music's it, licensed. <laughs> we're gonna get sued over that. No, I don't think anybody could tell. Um, it is wild though. So like, I have another project, Gaming Off the Grid. Yeah. Um, it's about games and craft beer. If you don't know about it, check it out. Check it out. Um, but we're at a point, you know, where we're making money on it, mm-hmm. and it's wild going back to old videos because it says it says like your estimated revenue from those. Yeah. And we had a comment on a video we put out like three years ago. It was like the death of gaming magazines. It was a really <laughs> cool episode. You know, we talked about gaming magazines. Gaming magazines, those were weird. Those are, But those were really cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, that video has 3,000 views. Okay. You know, like that, which is a lot, you know, compared to <laughs> Moist Monday. Yeah. Um, Besides but, our one video. <laughs> but the estimated revenue from that video, it, it just said like $3. <laughs> <laughs> like it was like... Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's so. I mean, luckily, all this stuff we're putting out now is like you know doing better and and we get donations and all that shit. But like, it's just like so wild to be like, oh, three dollars. So we'd make twenty five cents an episode. (laughs) We'd make nothing. Yeah. Okay, but turn me up a little bit. Yeah, I can turn you up. Um, Cool. I think I turned you down because your thing was the jaw harp. Yes. Is that better? Yeah. That's okay. So this is kind of a weird question, and (laughs) I. I don't know how to bring this up without you freaking out. Okay. Okay. Because every time I bring up stuff that relates to my childhood, you go, oh, Jesus Christ. It, it's rough. But I just want to know if you've... Okay, so like, my, my question is, did you ever, like, growing up... We haven't talked about, like, you know, nostalgia stuff or, like, growing up in a while, which sure. is what we start yeah. all the time. Um, when you were growing up, did your parents, like, when you got in trouble, ever do, like, non-traditional punishments for you? Oh, sure. Yeah. That's like because I have a, I have one that my stepdad did because his his normal punishments of beating and yelling yeah. didn't work. I guess sure. All right, what was it? Okay, so this happened twice. Okay, and I remember I was like, this is so fucked up. <laughs> so it happened once when I got a C in Spanish. Okay, and which is a yes in Spanish. C, C, senor. <laughs> That's a great joke. Yeah, you did that's not a, laugh at that. Enough. Yeah, but it took me a little bit, and then I go, "Okay, that's a great." Because I was like, "Wait a second. <laughs> he did something <laughs> there, si, Senor." <laughs> yeah, so I got a C. A I got a yes. In, I got a yes in Spanish, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, which he didn't think was acceptable, even though Spanish was fucking hard. Yeah, no I mean, bueno. Obviously, okay. does he fucking speak it? Probably not. Yeah, no comprendo. He also. I was supposed to get braces, and he goes, nope, you don't need them. Nope. He's not a dentist. Nope. <laughs> orthodontist. <laughs> Whatever. The same thing. Um, not. I get it. We got orthodontists that listen, probably. 
Can you imagine someone's getting braces that's, on? That's our, like, that's all we have is orthodontist. I just, dude, I want we one. We need to make new merch. I want one orthodontist to be putting someone's braces in, listening to this fucking bullshit. Email us at moistmondaypodcast <laughs> at gmail.com and make that happen for us, please. so stupid. Even if you're not an orthodontist, give somebody braces out there. <laughs> just punch them in the face. Um, okay, but then, so it happened once when I got a C in Spanish. And then it happened because I kicked my flip flops on the roof of the house. <laughs> okay. When I was okay, so All right, so those two things not even the same ballpark of no, like no, misdemeanors no, as a child. Yeah. But this is I got the same punishment. Can you think of like what the punishment was? Because a C in Spanish, that's to me is grounding. Flip flops on the roof is like a a yell. Like yeah. it's just like a what the f- apparently when I was like so flip flops on the roof was the it was the first one to happen and then the C was the it was like the okay one to so flip flops inspired it yeah um which was it, apparently when I was like in sixth grade is I it was like, w- clean the gutters or something like no, that it's, it's, is it a chore style um when I I'll give you a hint Simpsons does that help at all no okay it will when I once I explain it but when I was in like sixth grade I had this weird fascination with kicking my shoes off <laughs> okay. It was fun, dude, because I would wear like loose shoes or flip flops and I would kick them and they would go flying. So I would kick them on the roof. I get that. But I would climb up there and get them. Oh, okay. So this was a thing you did regularly. I guess. But then he got mad that I was kicking him up there to climb on the roof. Fair. It's awesome, dude. Yeah, but it's so fun. You don't want your child on your roof. It's so fun to be on the roof. Yeah, but as a parent. (laughs) Yeah, but he's just being an asshole. Yeah. Also, you guys didn't have a great climbing roof. Uh, the sh- we had a trailer next to our house that we sure. could get on that, and and then also my sister's window we could climb through that, mm. and then also my window we could climb through that. So here was the punishment. So I had to do this twice. I had okay. to, first I had to do it for kicking my shoes on the roof. Okay, and then second for getting a C in Spanish. I had to write a thousand times. I will not kick my shoes on the roof. Really? I will not kick my shoes on the, the roof. What the fuck is that going to do? And then for when I got a C in Spanish, it was like, I will not get a C in Spanish. Yeah, I'll fucking fail it. But like, I remember I had to do, I had to do it twice and mm-hmm. it fucking do it a thousand times. Sucks. Sure. And I bet he just threw it away. Yeah, he didn't count it. No, he's just like, good enough. Yeah. But like, what was wild is I wasn't, for that punishment, I wasn't grounded. I wasn't because I remember when it, when I got the C in Spanish, I was in high school. Yeah. So this was like, you know, a couple years later from the first time I did it. And I was I was working and it was summer vacation. It was like the last oh, that was my Jesus. final grade was okay. a C. Yeah. So I had to do that. But I remember Were you even taking Spanish next year? I might have. I took three years of Spanish. Oh, yeah, so maybe. Um but I remember just I had like Oreos over and then I had was hanging out with my buddies just like in my bedroom just writing. Like I wasn't grounded, but I just had to get it done. Yeah. And he's like, It has to be done by this date. <laughs> and I was like, What is this punishment? Yeah. I mean it sucked. Yeah, I bet. But like what did you do better? No, okay. there was no like. I feel like the punishment should fit the crime. Like, it, sure, if I you mean, kick it on the if you kick your shoes on the roof, clean the gutters. That'd be a great punishment. Yeah. Or if you get a C in Spanish, the that, whole house is speaking Spanish. That's a lot. <laughs> like, great stuff. I think is just gr- take away your phone. That's it. Yeah, because but I don't think I because as a high school, if that's I, here's where I here's where he I think you got to get creative because the beatings didn't work anymore sure. when I was in high school. Yeah, um, but also. He couldn't take away my phone because my phone, my dad gave me my phone. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I was in a loophole yeah. where it was like, even if I were getting in trouble, I still had to, I still had mm-hmm. to keep my phone because he was not allowed to take it because yeah. that's how my dad contacted me. Yeah. So he, he couldn't. Yeah. Not his property. So I was like, I'm a fucking bitch. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. a nice move. Let's there. go, dude. Um, did you ever have any like alternative? I mean, obviously parents yell grounding, you yeah. know, it's, for some people they get beat. Like uh, we got spankings when we were, I probably got spanked like two or three times. I got spanked when I was younger, like with the belt and shit. Um, I don't think we ever got the belt because the belt was more of a joke, just like the loud noise. Like he would do that, but like that wasn't a part that's, of. That's a scary noise, though. Yeah, but that wasn't like the belt. that was more like a funny like like and then chase you around kind of like that wasn't a part of the spanking. Thing. Oh yeah, I don't just, think it he was, was just fooling around with that. Yeah, I think spanking was always just a hand, and we didn't do it much. No, it it was. I feel like spanking is when you're at like a I don't know third or fourth grade maybe. Sure, and then and then once you get a little bit older, then it's like. Not appropriate. Yeah, like you're not gonna spank. I get a, a lot of like a lot of punishments probably aren't allowed anymore. Sure, and like I don't plan on. Spanking, but this is how I grew up. Yeah. I don't plan on spanking my kids at I all. I don't plan on beating my kids. Yeah, like that just <laughs> doesn't sound fun. But it also, like it doesn't. Also, like taking away their phone, it gets the job yeah, done. Yeah, because they're the especially miserable. now. Like, yeah, it's just, they can't do anything. And also, get, the idea that you have their phone terrifying. 
Yeah. Who fucking knows what's in there? I wouldn't. I would. I would not open it. Would you go snooping? <sighs> that it depends. I wouldn't want. To. Depends what they're in trouble for. Yeah, if they're in trouble for doing some shady like shit, like if they're hanging out with bad people, getting into like drugs and shit, yeah. then maybe just to see. But like if, but they're, I, but what but if you, they're just like in trouble, and I'm like, hey, I don't want to. Probably wanna, better off. I don't want to stumble across a dick bag or yeah. like a, or like a freaking underage nude. That you know would what be I mean? scary. Yeah, because when you're at that age, you were doing that. Yeah, I mean, when I was 16, I traded nudes with other 16 exactly. year olds, which is fucking weird. It is so weird, but also like it's just becoming like phones were like the new thing back. Mm-hmm. Then. I mean newish i guess but like but we were we, the, it, we were the first generation with smartphones yeah and in, in, in high, school, high school yeah as yeah. high schoolers but like if we have kids and like imagine they're in high school like what technology are they gonna have right because and they will dude, and like sex and all that shit is being introduced to younger and younger mm-hmm. and younger age like it's wild all right so like if i had kids if i saw a kick on their phone delete it no they are like i would not let my fucking kids on kick kick was nice though it was date it was horrible that's how I, dude i there were so many people i met on kick that i never met in person yeah where i would like be like oh my family's going through some shit right now can i talk to you about it sure but like, like i had so many like best friends that i don't even know who they are yeah me too but also that's where i got gross and that's, oh, where, yeah, that's where everybody you were doing nudes that's and where shit. everybody got fucking gross was on kick and any like oh god i didn't i didn't do it very often i, I think did I, it Every day. Jesus Christ. Horror. The moment I got my phone, I was addicted so to that shit. You you mentioned in an earlier episode that you found one of your old phones. Do you think there's like dick pics on there? I think I've cleared them all. There probably is though. I don't fucking know. I think all of my old phones have been like destroyed. I think I cleared but, like SIM cards and shit. I'm sure I'm sure like dick pics of my sixteen year old penis yeah, are out there. Just, which is just like uh, yeah, that's yeah. just wild. Yeah, hopefully this episode doesn't get flagged from these words. <laughs> What do you do? <laughs> We're throwing a lot of age and nudity descriptions in with stuff. We're talking about ourselves. Yeah, I'm saying the words are still yes, words. But we've said probably a lot worse. Less illegal. Hey. What? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we're just talking about, you know, what we did when we were younger. Okay? I did think about the other day. Um, there's that kid on my street and I'll do the story before it leads into that. But like, I remember like there was a kid I grew up with on my street. I remember like talking about girls with him. He was like two years younger than me, I think. So he was into like third graders, whatever. <laughs> I was in the fifth graders. Yeah. And like, we nice, talked dude. about that and then we grew up and then I, we didn't talk anymore. And then later I found out dude's still into third graders. Like that's fucking weird. Yeah, he never evolved. No, that like, yeah, cause he got arrested. Yeah. yeah. He, he got arrested. And, and he's in jail for like 40 fucking years. Yeah. That's wild, dude. Yeah. He got arrested for having, a terabyte like, or yeah, gigabytes I think, of I think literally a terabyte. I'm like, just, oh my god, what? The and he f- lived on my street and like, yeah, what? The so fuck, fucking dude. weird. I don't get that at all. No, it's really funny to go to his Facebook where he's being like a douche about other stuff, and then oh, he's after, out. No, after the fact, people commented like about him. <laughs> it's really <laughs> yeah, fucking. And he can't check his Facebook. Yeah, but are, like, are you just, allowed in prison to get on the computer? I don't fucking know. I would be curious. Let us know if you're in prison. Have you never looked at like prison talk? Like TikTok from prisoners, and it's them they like, make TikToks. Yeah, no, I've never seen that. And they like cook weird. It's wild what they learned how to cook because they. Well, were, I, I I've known like because my college roommate was in prison for a week, so he knew that's not prison. Oh, he's in jail for a week, but he knew how to he knew how to make like you know some like cool like ramen meals. And that's like, not what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm pe- talking about people boiling things with open electrical wires in their toilet. No, what like, the fuck? They got fucking smart about shit. What are they? What are they cooking? Whatever, whatever Dude, what? they. No, like they. It's weird meals. Like, How are they? So they're allowed to have like a smartphone? I don't know. It doesn't well, seem like maybe prison. they're not allowed to. It doesn't sound like prison to me. Yeah, or I mean, it maybe it could be in their pillow. Yeah, or yeah. up their butt. Ooh, that's a phone. prison pocket. Brit, ah, uh, yikes, dude! Prison's a weird thing. Keister, um, I, I did. I was way into when I first got into podcasts. I was way into this podcast. I don't remember what it's called, and I don't even know if they still do it. But it was the this lady that would go to prison and interview and like actually sit down and talk with prisoners. Sure. And like it was, and they, I, it was a California based prison, and. And then what was cool is I listened to it for a few years and then the guy that she talked to a lot ended up getting out and is now like the co-host of the podcast. Cool. And they still go back and interview. And it, it was cool to just hear people's stories. Yeah. Uh, people would like play songs and like it was just it wow. was a really cool. But like she would go in and be like, I don't know who these people are. Mm-hmm. Like it was it was a really cool podcast. Because um, when I was in college for welding, 
one of my classmates because there's like five of us that took all the class yeah. together. He was in like prison prison for armed robbery. Jesus. He, he said he was like addicted to meth and so he robbed a convenience store to Holy get more money. Fuck. And then he talked about his time. It was really open. And he was really smart and like could like really like I mean, he, dude, explain things well. Fucking turn and, his life around. And yeah, now because uh, I think he worked at an auto shop so he took welding so he could get paid more to do yeah. more. But it was wild hearing him talk about like because he was in a like I think minimum security prison like where and it was interesting because he was like yeah we were allowed like in like an area that was like not gated but we were still watched and like he saw like somebody run for it and they're like all right well you fucked up your f- life you would have been out of here yeah, in like you a year up your yeah I mean that's kind of nice shit if, like that if is you're so at like a, yeah you're at minimum security so it's like yeah you're non violent you're, you're, you're locked down but then also yeah you you get three meals a day uh, they let you. I mean, you're still on a structure, yeah, and you still probably most of them, I think, have to work. Like most of them have like a job. Well, the and you're paid not. It's slave, like yeah. for profit prisons are slave labor. Yeah. but that's um, probably one of the most fucked up things in this country right now. <sighs> All our license plates and what I don't even. The weirdest one is when um, California was on fire and they oh, brought they were prisoners to, to, to put it up to fight like, the fire. They could fucking die out. There. Yeah, and like, they don't know how to fight fire. I don't. Yeah, like. How do you fight fire? Uh, not wa- with fire. A lot of water? Not, my instinct is with fire. Mm. And yeah. that's not. Yeah, you can't do that. And then you go, how'd you get fire? You're a prisoner. <laughs> Give me that lighter. Yeah, that's, I don't, oh uh, man. That was okay. a fucked up situation. Prison yeah. is a weird thing. Hope uh, I never go. Yeah, fingers crossed. Do you ever think that randomly a cop could roll up and just arrest, like that you did something that you weren't aware of was illegal? Oh, I get that. I get paranoid all the time. All the fucking time. I get paranoid time. all the time that my door's going to get kicked in. <laughs> and then I'm just like, I'm just there jerking off of my couch and I go, what? And they go, we got you. And I'm like, for what did I do? Like, no. I always feel like, I always feel guilty about stuff that I've never done. So I'll be really high. And it's I'll, probably because I'm high. Yeah, I'll be high and order Uber Eats. And I have this... Undying fear <laughs> that someone's gonna when they deliver my food they're gonna burst in and just start yelling at me like hey what are you doing like just like they're gonna just corner me and just be too aggressive and I'm gonna freak the fuck that is a common fear of mine I have that, that somebody's just gonna come and go like nightmare nightmare like just like that I have that fear sometimes and then I get like anxious because like the food is like it says like knock knock your delivery guy's mm-hmm. here and, and like, but then but then I'm just like waiting and then sometimes. Like most of the time they knock, mm-hmm. but then sometimes I can hear them walking because I live on the top floor. I can hear them walking and they just put it down and then they leave and they don't knock. And I'm like, are they still there? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. So then like the phone will say, oh, they've delivered it. And I go, but are they outside still? Right, yeah. Like I'm afraid to open the door now because they didn't and, knock. And it's just, it's, so just, then a per- I, it's just a person. I, I just open the door to just like, yeah. like <laughs> Just like really quick and grab my food because I, I don't want to. I'm sure people are like, "What the fuck?" But also, everyone they deliver to is high as fuck. Exactly. That's why I'm ordering Uber yeah. Eats. Like it's fucking. <laughs> no, I just have such a unnerving fear <laughs> that they're gonna just burst in and like they're they're just gonna like be like huddled over me and like it's just I don't know why. I think it's because I do that to Izzy when she's high. No, it's because you're a bully, dude. You're a bully. It's. <laughs> It's fun. It's so funny to overwhelm. It's it's so mean. She gets overwhelmed easily. I, that's the thing too. And I, I mean, you're a bully. Yeah. But also, like I am, and she's loved me for this long exactly. that she loves me for being a and that's I think I think we're very similar. Yeah. Um, because I'm the same way in relationships, especially if I've been dating someone for a long time, mm-hmm. I get like bullyish. Yeah. Where I'm, I, it's playful. But I still am like, if you take a step back, it's like, okay, yeah, that's yeah. kind of that's like, kind of mean. It's kind of mean. So, but also, I'm just like, you like it. So my <laughs> issue, you like my it. issue currently, and I'm fine with her calling me out on this when I do it is push her in a bush. No, I'll. <laughs> I wouldn't say like mock, but I'll repeat. Like I'll re- <laughs> Like it's not to make fun of her. It's just something I do sometimes where like she'll say something and I repeat it in a funny voice, and she's like. What the fuck? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. really me. I'm sorry. But like, she'll like cough and I'll go like, hit, hit. And then she's like, what was that? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so, it's so funny, but it's also very me. And like, because you, it's, you're mocking. That's and what, like, that's, I don't know why. And you're, like, you're not like mocking, mocking, but you are mocking. And because I'm, I was like, I'm sorry. And she's like, no, you're not. And like, I mean, I know I'm not, but like, I, it's, <laughs> I, don't, I didn't mean to do it. I'm just, that's, that's how I feel like, because we're villains, I think. Yeah. I think we're not, I think we just, like, especially like, because you've been dating Izzy for a long time, you're just so comfortable mm-hmm. that you just do things without thinking about it. Mm-hmm. And you go, okay, I'm sorry I did that, but yeah. I'm not sorry I did it. Well, like, because so, you're like, oh, shit. It's <laughs> also, I think it's funny to like, 
like I'll be fully clothed and I'll just pull my dick and balls out so they're like sticking straight up out of my jeans and she's like and just leave them there and then I'll just talk to her and just see how long it takes <laughs> like it's not it's not good just start doing an over and under how long does it take for Izzy to notice yeah. my balls hanging yeah. out of my yeah. <laughs> just like I I don't know why I do it's, it it's not it's, nice but it's, it's funny it's funny but it's a it's a it's a it's a bit you're doing with no audience yeah because the audience you're doing is the one that's getting upset yeah <laughs> you know what I mean so it's like but I totally get it. I'm the same fucking way, dude. Uh, going back, and I, I think that's a common thing among like comfortable couples. I think, the, I think so. I think you gotta have that kind of well, playfulness. It's, it's kind of the same thing where like I'll be bored. I'll just walk over and just start like punching her. Like not hard, but like I'll just start like just messing with her. You hear that dude, he walks over and beats her. But like you know, just like start moving her around. Just <laughs> I'll just like hug her from behind, and then I'll push my knee into the back of her knees just so she like starts so she and, drops and then i just lay her down like not i don't drop her like i just i lay her down and, like, and she's like what the fuck yeah, no fucking reason i mean that's awesome yeah dude. it's also that's what my family did to each other and oh, like so that's what you grew up so, experiencing like that me and my of... sisters constantly smacking each other constantly pushing it's it's a it's a sibling of, bully thing it's it's you're just treating my, her but, isn't it wild you're treating your fiance like your sister i'm treating her like part of my family though is the thing which because that's when we've talked about when we have kids because yeah. our kids are like my niece smacky as shit like she'll just come that's over good. and start part, fucking with part you. Of your family but like dude you should tell izzy hey you shouldn't be upset you should feel honored yeah <laughs> you but, should but, feel honored <laughs> well we've had the conversation where she's like i know if you're mad at me because you don't mess with me like that's part of it yeah, too that, you only do it when you're in a playful fun mood mm -hmm. yeah i mean we're lying to also draw but like also same thing with like my mom like when because her, her and I are really close, like I'm close, like I would say I'm probably closer to her than my dad at this point. Oh, really? Okay. Her and I talk more. Oh, really? Like more just open end conversations where me and my dad do stuff together more. It's just different. Yeah, I get that. I get yeah, that. but yeah, like you can just you can kind of just sit and have a drink with your mom and talk, and mm, and, and then with your dad, it's like let's build something. Yeah, yeah. which I'm also. But, but you're very, also talking. Yeah, I can also talk with. It's just, but it's, it's, it's different. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. And also just the way I was raised, I had her. We were she both, was around more. Too. Yeah, and I was more. Yeah. I'm more close to my mom too. Yeah, right, we yeah. were both raised more. But I remember mom. when, like, if because also they were so fucking young when they had me and my siblings. Like when growing up, if she made a bad mistake, like if she said something mean to me that was like not parental, just mean, and then I was like, all right. I'm not gonna hang out with you now for a yeah. while. Like I would. That was your. So you were punishing her. I no. I would literally like yeah punish her for like a month. Damn. Where well because also like my dad worked nights so a lot of times late at night I would come up fuck with her and fuck with and her. it would be like fun yeah so like that was something so that, then so then like when yeah when you were mad when, you just when would she you crossed the line her. yeah I would because also like her office was right by my bedroom I would just walk past I wouldn't go in and bug her at all like that was a weird thing like that is kind of weird yeah. yeah and also most most kids don't ever punish. Mm -hmm. parents. No, and I would. Yeah, that was a way I would punish. That's my, actually really. That's yeah. I like that though. Because her and I were such good friends, especially like late in high school. Yeah, I like that. I like that where it's like, okay, yeah, you were friendly, but then you also could know, like, okay, I know that there was there's a boundary crossed. Mm -hmm. And and also she was aware. Yeah. When a, yeah. like she was, she could tell. Yeah. She could look back and be like, yeah, that was a mistake. That's so fucking weird being an adult now with your parents when they are aware of the mistakes they've made with you. Yeah, it is. Weird. And it's like raising you it's still it's still so wild being because i'm we're both adults now my parents had three kids at my age yeah but it's still so wild hanging out with your parents now mm -hmm. because i i'm an adult yeah but i don't look at them the same way as other adults i, I still look at them as like they just sure. feel they, they just feel like they're above me you know what i mean see my but parents I can less out, but i can hang out with all of their friends and all and i'm just like also an adult and i can hang out with, I, I hang out with my mom all the time but also i just feel there's like a weirdness you know you are also the oldest by far yeah i'm the youngest by not a lot oh yeah so I was the we're, oldest by a lot. we're kind and also there's grandchildren now oh so okay. kind of all the adults are like a little bit of like a unit now. it's weird that we're all grouped together now yeah because then you got the the grandkids and, yeah where yeah. it used to be like my parents and my oldest sister were kind of more up and then me and my sister were like that tier and but that, now we're now all yeah now you're yeah. part of the adult table yeah which is fucking weird oh but also since we were talking about like weird punishments there was my punishment towards my mom but yeah you never you never said if your no, parents we, give you a weird... we talked about fucking everything else <laughs> so um yeah i was spanked sometimes i don't i don't have any memories of being spanked 
nor are there any stories about me being spanked. There's a few stories about Haley and I, or my sisters being spanked where like, cause there was a few, cause also I think about like those stories. My dad was like 22 and my mom was like 23 when this was happening. I can't even and they imagine. Had three children. Or maybe two I'd children. I'd be so one. fucking frazzled, dude. I'd go, can you shut the fuck up? Like, also, I would, like, like, I wouldn't, dude, at 22, I wouldn't fuck it. I was just getting drunk all the time. Yeah. Like, what that's what we're doing now. <laughs> yeah, I know. If anything, we're getting drunk more now. I would say less. No, I don't know. 22 is that No, so I would say we are getting tipsy more often, but less drunk. Less hammered, yes. Yes, which we I'm dips- okay with. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> we've learned how to control ourselves. Yeah. It's called pacing. But also, imagine. Like not having those wild, fun, like stupid twenty-two. Like they were, I can, yeah, because they just. My so dad fought a fucking war so at night. Is that probably why they're so active now? Hmm? Because they're, you know, their grandparents yeah. and they don't have any kids at home. They, well, and they're, they're like, going out doing their grandparents. They're, they're kind of trying to relive their younger, their younger selves. Well, they lived their younger. They were never like partiers, but like their younger selves was still like traveling Europe. It just I was on their back. That's crazy. Yeah. And now they're just also doing that again. Why do I want to get drunk with your parents? It's fun. You've done it before. Christmas yeah, party. But, but like with cops. Yeah. You and I both underage got shit faced at a police at a police Christmas party. party. Yeah. And then the police did uh, sobriety tests sobriety on us. Tests on us and we failed. But luckily we were staying there. Yeah. You just had a hop offense. Yeah. I think I stayed. I probably. think I still yeah, slept on your. Yeah. It's wild. It's like my bed was. Mm-hmm. If my bed was across the street, I would walk there every time now. But sure. like as a kid, I was like. That was I'm a sleepover. Here. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. dude. But like, I, I I feel like getting drunk with your parents would be so fun. Mm-hmm. Well, nowadays. they don't drink a lot either. But like, it'd just be fun to like if we hung out on your back porch mm-hmm. and just like, oh man, does your dad drink whiskey? Is he like a whiskey guy? No, he's not actually. I don't know if he has a whiskey he likes. I'd be so fun to just sip whiskey he like, with well, him. Well, because the issue is he likes light beer or just all the fruity drinks. Hey, I like fruity drinks. Well, yeah, no, fruity drinks are the best, but like, yeah. it's weird that you have like a. It's weird that you and I, not ironically, love like scotch. Yeah, and we are just not. And that's what I picture. Like he's like a he's a grandpa, which well, is also, so wild to he's say. He's a manly man. He's such a and, and we, dude, he's such a cool dude. We look manly men, but we are not. No, we're pussies, dude. Yeah. We're pussies, but we just look like I look like I'm a fucking lumberjack. No, he has. His hobby is the career that you couldn't even like handle. Yeah, his hobby is carpentry. Isn't that like, like a he's career? Such that, a man, a career you had to give up on. And like same with like me, like well, like I'm sure he'll get into fucking welding. I'm next. sure he will, and, yeah. and he'll be making the crazy shit. And you go, holy fuck! And he's like, yeah, I, I well, because also they, I just picked it up. They have fucking money and time now, which is wild. That's, because back in the awesome. day, they had neither. They had yeah. three kids. He was off in fucking Iraq doing whatever. Jesus, and my dude. mom was just at home just, trying to keep shit together. I can't. I mean, good for them, dude. It's, it's insane that insane they insane that they did. All right, so but now, now I want, now I want to get drunk with them. Yeah, I know. And now for the hob or for the punishments yeah. since they were fucking winging it. So, I'm sure. That, I'm sure they came up with the creative shit. Yeah. Um. So spanking a few times, not very often. Um. We'd get yelled at. Whatever. Yeah. Yelling is. Yeah. And then so like yelling is a common thing. Yeah. Nor do I blame because like you have so much well, emotion. It's just so much stress where you just mm-hmm. go. Ah. No, like, I remember like when my older age when I was just talking a lot and my mom like snapped and she was like shut the fuck up. Yeah, exactly. And, I, and then I remember just crying. Yeah. But I was like now at that point I'm like oh I fucking I get totally it. get it because it's just like there's so much happening and like. The kids are saying such dumb shit. And they're repeating themselves over and over. And they're not it's just funny. Like, they don't have like, timing. They don't have you know, knowledge. Like it's they, just like, I don't give a fuck yeah, about what you're fuck, talking yeah. about. I, I love you, I remember but a, shut up. I remember a few times of just those where my mom was like, stop. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. And like I would just freak out and cry. And it's whatever. That's so wild. It's like as a parent, it's like you're overwhelmed, so you say that. And then the children cries, and then you're like, oh, fuck. Now I have to fix oh, this. Fuck. Yeah. And they are mad at me. And they don't understand. But and like, as an adult, I understand that. Yeah. And like the kids are somewhat rightfully mad at you because you shut up. Like, yeah. Because yeah. it's just tough, dude. So I remember um, when we would say something bad, we would get Tabasco on the tongue. Oh. Which I, was somewhat common. Uh, did you ever have, did you ever do the soap? No, Tabasco was that. I think, yeah, we never did soap. Because soap was like an old school tradition that mm-hmm. I experienced a few times, like when I said bad things. Where your parents where just washed, watch Christmas story. And where it was, was like, like, wash your mouth out. Yeah. Dude, and soap is nasty. Yeah, no, soap's worse than Tabasco. Because yeah. by the, by the time I was probably like 
10. I was like, mm, I kind of like Tabasco. Yeah, you, now you're, now you're and spicy also, shit. we got milk, which I don't know why they gave us milk. Oh, it's a punishment. Yeah. No, like it would be Tabasco. And I think it was like literally a timer. Like you had to wait two minutes. So you got a glass of milk. But then like, you could easily walk. Okay. So they weren't. Dude, you, no, your not parents, wild. Yeah. Your parents weren't. Pretty me. tame. Um, they, they were like, we got to punish you, but we don't want to be like mean. And like, yeah, that's. I'm against uh, spanking, but like, I'm not against just a quick, just like. On the back of the head, of just like the back of the head. like if you say something bad in public, just a little, just like hey, especially yeah, the back of the head is is different. Than, it's like it's like a I don't it's, know. It's just like a hey, yeah, watch yourself. Like yeah, like it's thin not, ice. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm gonna say, but it's not, not like hitting. it's not it's not hitting. Yeah. yeah, it's just a little like come on. I remember my mom told me a story one time when she was growing up. Mm-hmm. Um, they were at like the grocery store, and so this would be my grandpa. And okay. like she was like a young kid. Is this the grandpa I know? Yeah, I think okay. so. They, That's they, her mom or yeah, her dad? Yeah, okay. her dad. Um, they were like at the grocery store and like she was acting up or something. Mm-hmm. And he had like a notebook with like a pen on it. Yeah. And he, he did like the back of the head thing. Mm-hmm. But the pen fucking <laughs> cut her head and she Shit. started bleeding. You're like, God. And it's just like. But, That's but he, not what he, that was supposed was to be. Just, he was just trying to be like, hey, knock yeah. it off. Like, it's like. And it's then, not then, about pain. It's about. fucking head was bleeding. And he's like, oh, shit. Yeah. God, I mean, fucking grandparents were probably next level of just abuse. Yeah, I think there's a lot of spankings and a lot of just, yeah. Well, just fucking deck of kids. <laughs> like, well, yeah, it was like <laughs> foot in the ass, you know, that's not, that uh, 70s show. You yeah, know? I'm it's glad like, I never got that. Because I remember my mom would talk about, she didn't get this, but the boys in her family did. My grandma would grab right here on the hair and grind you down. Like, just what the grab fuck? like right at the top of Dude, your head like and just you. Wh- that's what they claim it did yeah holy and, shit like literally just circles and pushing you down de- like oh jesus fuck christ that yeah. i remember i had to do a lot of like physical shit that was a uh, so i'll explain that next yeah. um because my stepdad was way into like taekwondo so like He'd be out in the street practicing. Yeah, which was so dumb. <laughs> he's what like five five. He's like so he's just a, a tiny dude. He's a little just nugget of like he's smaller than my dad. Yeah, <laughs> he's like a little and nugget your dad's, of. And I think bigger. Yeah, and and also not full of just this rage and doesn't know where to put it. Yeah, so I remember like, like people respect my dad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy's just, they are the Aretha Franklin dude. Yeah, um, but he's I remember a tiny angry man for some taekwondo. for some punishments I would have to do like. He'd like make me hold planks or yeah. make me do like 50 push ups. And like if I wasn't doing a perfect push up, he'd go, that doesn't count. Yeah. And so I'd be doing, and I'd be doing this in the kitchen. Yeah. Like, and he'd be screaming at me doing this. And then like I'm fucking like, I'm like trying to do it and mm-hmm. I'm crying. Yeah. Like while I'm trying to do, but and he's just like, nope, didn't count. Do you and remember just, like, that? Dude, it was just like, this sucks, dude. Do you remember, this like, is awful. Cr- like that breathy cry where you're. <laughs> And just, well, like, just couldn't you're about to throw because a panic attack. Well, like That's having a niece now, because she's three now, so she's starting to if she gets if she does something, it's over, really, you're getting overwhelmed. Yeah, emotionally. but like yeah. The, she can't even fucking breathe, and you're just like, oh my god. <laughs> Like I for because well, because your body you you've never experienced that feeling before so you don't you don't yeah. you, and you you're not controlling you your breathing and you're not so aware little, yeah uh, exactly like, and you just are yeah that's wild but um so when I would get in trouble with my dad there were three levels to him oh okay so the starter one because he was a soldier and a cop yeah the uh, best thing you could get was cop angry at you. Which is he'll yell at you and you go to your room. Yeah. With, the, the, with the double finger? Two finger point. Fucking. R- yeah, the double finger, dude. And it was dude, at your chest. So, oh, it, so it's, it's not even at your face. No, it's, it's at your body. It's like, it is a movement. And you like go, at, you move now. Yeah. And it's so, just like, cool. That's And scary. that's where you just go to your room. That's scary. You cry it out, whatever the fuck. Then there's military where it's, you're in trouble. Go do this task. Yeah. That fucking sucked. And do it right now. Yeah. Like, all right. You pissed me off. Go rake the goddamn yard. And if you do a bad job, which I always did, he would come out, yell at me about that, and then I'd just be crying, Rick. Because I used to do tasks bad. I used to do tasks bad all the time. So that they would just take over out of frustration. Oh, no, I didn't do it. I might have done it. That's, yeah. But I remember getting in trouble. I, because I had to do so much chores and shit, Mm -hmm. so much bullshit. I got grounded all the time. Dude, one time, this is the most, I don't know if I've told this on the podcast, um, but it sounds kind of familiar. But one time I was like cleaning up and I, I cleaned the cat litter. There was all like I had to. Mm. So when we like every Saturday I had to do like the cat, like it is the cat shit mm. is in the basement. So I had to like clean out the cat box. Uh, literally, he had like a tray, take it outside, hose it down and then mop the entire basement. Jesus. Like it was literally, like, literally the, such a fucking. It took like an hour. Yeah. Because I. Because like you would do this, let the shit dry while it's 
outside, God. mop it, and then once it's dry, you got to put everything back. Because my siblings, there's three of us. We were just on a three person rotation of cleaning out the. Cat it was box. mostly just me because I was the oldest sibling by a ton. Yeah, because your youngest was ten years yeah, different. Ten, yeah. So I remember one time I did it and I emptied the the litter box into the trash can, obviously. Yeah. But I didn't take the trash out. Okay. But I did everything else. Yeah. I just forgot to take the trash out, so it was just filled with litter, obviously. Yeah. And then it was uh, that night I was going over to a buddy's house. It was my buddy Jonah. Yep. Uh, for a Halloween party. Okay. And it was like a, it was going to be a slumber party, Halloween. Oh, so big event. Big event. Jesus, like, yeah. Like at his house. How like, old do you think? Um, I'd probably say junior high. Boy girl party. I don't know if it was a but it was going to be a big deal. Okay. And he was like, Oh, you don't know. And he, yeah, I don't know. Um, it was a big deal. He was, and he was like. I was like really good friends with him and I was like the one of the first people there. Yeah. And I was going to hang out all night. Mm -hmm. So I get there for the sleepover. We're hanging out and then I get a call and he's like pissed off. He's like, why didn't you take the trash out? And I was yeah. like, oh, I forgot. What trash? And yeah. He's like the trash from the cat. You didn't finish the, th you didn't finish it. And I was like, what? I must have forgot. Yeah. Because I was getting ready for the party. And then they came and picked me up and that couldn't. Like, Which takes what? 10 times more work dude exactly like he acts like it's out of fucking malice that my, you didn't do that my chore. fucking like literally it would have it take it would have taken you a minute and a half to take Not that trash out if if that but instead you call make me upset come and pick me up and then come and drive me back yeah i don't get to celebrate just to punish and i'm just like dude i did everything else yeah. like i was like and then I never like I, I yeah I wasn't a part of the party at all. Fuck. And it was dude it would it was because I remember meeting his dad for the first time and his yeah. dad was super cool. Sure. And I was like this is gonna be such a fun party, and then I didn't get to experience it at all. And that dude that party could have been life changing for me. Maybe yeah maybe <laughs> could have been on better brighter things. <laughs> yeah, but dude I I was just like it's a like I'm I mean I I don't I'm not a parent so I don't know but, but I know still, but I know of that? like. From the shit that I've dealt with growing up with punishment wise, I know what not to do. Right. Like, yeah, I, I get maybe getting upset because you forgot to do the thing. But why do you have to ruin the whole like maybe just like, wait, wait till after the event and then be like, hey, you forgot to take the trash out. Like the idea of like if that like if I have kids in this house with Izzy that and that scenario happened, I I would just bitch at Izzy for a while. Just like, God damn it. Like they didn't do that. Like they didn't that finish kind of, it. Yeah. But, but like. More would, than that, but what? I would, yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably finish it myself. I'd do it. I'd bitch about it to my significant other. Yeah, and then I would probably be like, "Hey, just letting you know, you forgot, you yes. forgot to do the trash. Let's not, because I, it's not like I, it happened all the time, right? Yeah, it wasn't no, like was a it on purpose. Yeah. yeah, it was just like I literally forgot. And then when you mop the floor, you can't walk on it. So like once I mopped the floor, sure. then I was like, "Oh, I'm done with it." They do that. You had to weekly mop your basement is wild. I had to do so much. I had to fucking mow. Yeah, I had to do all this shit, and it was just like. This uh, and then like on Saturday mornings, mm -hmm. you know, because I was a young kid, he would wake me up super early <laughs> to like do chores, and it's yeah. just like this is the only time I get to yep. sleep in. Like, it's it was just fucking terrible. And he goes, "Well, you got to get the chores done. You can sleep afterwards." <laughs> but then, but I'm awake. You yeah, know, so like kids don't. At, I mean, junior high and high schoolers don't really take naps. Well, also the science behind like I've heard some interesting things about like kids that age of. They're like their bodies are going through so much shit. Yeah, th that's why you sleep so much. Yeah, and that's like, why. You, yeah, like technically they should move school back a few hours so they get that kids can actually optimally like experience yeah, things because you're so tired all the time because your fucking body's growing, growing yes. and your body's changing and your mind is going. I don't know who I am. Don't even know how to process yeah, exactly. Yeah, so like, that's why you would, and then you just get fucking woken up on and it. then throw abuse on top of that shit. Like that's why people are so fucked up now. That's why I feel like a lot of days, yeah, everyone's so fragile today. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of like put it in quotes like snowflakes and stuff but right. like but like obviously also just if, the environment has been weird yeah, but like, like if you but if you grew up through the shit like that i grew up in it's like yeah you don't know it's it's hard to process shit and we're just we're but, more but I'm, aware I'm, I'm now but i'm so self-aware and I've, I've been in a lot of therapy so i can like process it but like dude you're you're going through all this shit developmentally and then all this shit on top of that it's just wild dude yeah. that's I, I can't even imagine what it's like to be a parent because I feel like no matter what you do, you will fuck up. Oh, sure. Yeah. Because there's no way there's no, and every child's different. Yeah. You know, it's like, that's, that's like, that's kind of scary to me. Mm -hmm. All right. You ready for the third way to piss my dad off? Oh yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So the worst thing you could do is piss him off. Not as a cop, not as a soldier, as a husband. Ooh. If he saw me 
insult my mom. If you saw you get mad. Talk yeah. back to her, disrespect her in any way. Ter- like, he would get in, like, because you're not his kid anymore. You're, yeah, you're someone a, fucking with his wife. With his wife. So then, like, that, it, it, there's a shift in there. Literally, all, like, any, like, familiarity out the door. And you were just, a stranger yelling at his wife. And you're like, who are you? Yes. Like, it's, it was Whoa. a, it was a, just wall of passion and anger. I still can't comprehend. I've yelled at one stranger, my neighbor, for yelling at Izzy, and that is the closest. And that was the closest. You and I gave the two finger point. I had my bald head shining in the goddamn sunlight, <laughs> like my father. I wore like an outfit that kind of made it seem like I used to be in the military, just to kind of get a just to get a little as bit more much tough. of my dad in me as I could, because I was like that fucking. War. He put the fear of God. In, like it was just. Unfam- it was well, it an was, unfamiliar man yelling. He and was. He was. It was a like you don't. Talk, it wasn't you don't talk to your mom like that. You don't talk to my wife like that. Oh, he's, you oh, don't talk shit. to that woman in that to, way. You don't talk to Anne like no, that. And you go, I am Who's not, Anne? I am no longer related to either of them. When he when I disrespected my mom, it was yeah. just, and I is a disrespect thing. I respect the fuck out of my dad for. I think that is such an interesting switch to that's, flip. I mean, that's really cool, and it also shows like. No. How, how deep of a love yes. and feeling he has for her. that is just that or is, just immediately if there's any disrespect he shifts because that it didn't come with grounding it didn't come with go to your room it was just a anger and a just that's not going to happen again yeah just and like, I respect, you better knock that fucking shit yeah, off yeah like that's not what this is that's not an option it's basically and that Damn, happened like three or four times and you were just like holy shit I it get was it. just Sob like yeah. li- just uncontrollable and he didn't give a shit no it was it was he just shifted he was like know? I yeah, he's going to say his piece don't and fucking, you're going to deal. Don't fucking disrespect her. Because I don't know if my sister's got that like I did. Well, yeah, it might be different because you're as a man. As yeah. a man, yeah. I could see that kind of being. A, I don't. That uh, Yeah, that's something I'm asking my sisters about. Like, did they get that side of him as much? Yeah, the third side. They probably because got the. You probably got the one and two probably. But I probably yeah. got it worried because also it's just a disappointment as a man talking to. A, yeah. Because also he was only raised by his mother. Oh, okay. His dad yeah, wasn't around yeah, much yeah. either. So okay. he probably has just yeah. that. And I uh, saw same with me and my mom where like my dad wasn't around a lot, not because he's a bad dude, because he was he's in the military. War. Yeah, he's in, yeah. fucking fighting the war, fighting the bad guys. Yeah. And then he comes home and you're the bad guy. <laughs> you know, <it's> like, <laughs> yeah. Shit. Saddam was easier. So the bullet took that one out. Yeah, you can't fucking shoot yourself. I think his own people took him out, but still. <laughs> um but in in my scenario, it was different because it was my stepdad. Right. And so I wasn't his son. And he's also a hard man to respect. <laughs> and the, so like w- I was way older till he had his first child. Mm-hmm. I was already in the picture. And then so like when they grew up, they didn't get punished as much as I did. Sure. And then because I was it's never also, his kids. Yeah. I was never really a part of the family. No. Because like I wasn't his child. And that's how I still feel as an adult. I see you related to your siblings, but I barely like think of you and your mom together too you know yeah we hang out and we drink wine and sure she has a wine mom yeah yeah i think she's cutting back on drinking uh, a little bit which is good but and sometimes i can be like hey, hey. let's freaking have a let's open that box yeah let's freaking have it get a black <laughs> box open yeah. but it is but oh, she's a black box yeah she shops at costco oh you sure because a black box is like four or five bottles of wine is it with, with a spout on it yeah because i do franzia yeah. black I'm box not... is pretty good but black box is red wine yeah and i you know and i'm not i'll drink it because my mom has it i never need red wine or i'll do what what i like to do at my parents house and i know it's not like you know very manly or anything but i'll do a malibu and coke uh which is pretty good you and, know coconut rum and, and then coke light because malibu is not that and strong. i'll literally do half 50 50 yeah. or more Malibu, because it's I'll, I'll make them as strong as fuck. Izzy's been making, but they're them. only. I think Malibu's only like twenty five percent. So Izzy and I have mornings off now, or like we have one or two days a week, which is nice, dude. You yeah. can wake up together, and we do like mimosas. But Jesus Christ, her ratio—it's like seventy five twenty five. That's why she's taking a goddamn nap right now because she had too many mimosas. Yeah, she had a couple of mimosas this morning, and she got wiped out by new, like God. She makes them so strong, and they just kick my ass. Yeah, when I'm at my parents' house, I don't know how to page myself because I usually end up crashing there. And, also, I, and it's free liquor. You also drink when it's quiet. And when you and I talk, it's a lot less quiet. But with parents, there's a lot of quiet. Well, and also, I like, part of me doesn't want to be there. 
you know, I only want to be, I'm only there because, oh, my siblings are there or, oh, my grandparents are there or yeah. I'm hanging out with my mom. But then and like, like what, the other part of me is like, I don't want to be What here. I do with my hands. Yeah, yeah exactly. Where do I put my hands at? Put them um, in your mouth. But going back <laughs> yeah. to like your level three of your dad. Yes. In my scenario, that was way different because- <laughs> my stepdad would yell at my mom so there was no like you know what i mean so there was a lot of like because i've seen my parents fight maybe twice no dude there were so many times like my mom would cry and yeah. like all this and oh. it's just like like he would just yell at, dude he's just a bully yeah he's just a bully like, <laughs> he's got little man syndrome yeah he's just a bully to everybody because he doesn't deal with his problems <laughs> and he just takes it out on everybody i love your how your siblings deal with them they're fucking ruthless dude they, I give them props because I do not have the balls to say some of the shit that they say, <laughs> but they're allowed to because they're his children. Because you know? like what the my favorite thing I've ever heard your little brother say is like, you know, your grandpa wouldn't be proud of you, right? <laughs> or your dad wouldn't yeah. be proud of, to his father. To his face. Yeah. To, imagine saying that to your like, you know, your dad wouldn't be proud of you, right? Like the idea of that. <laughs> That's one of my favorite stories. If is, someone said that to me, I would throw up. If if my child told me like your dad's not proud of well, you, and I at, would. And at this point, my brother said this probably when he was fourteen. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like he's like still a maturing kid. And yeah. dude, the story is like so. <laughs> my stepdad like pissed off my younger sister. They got in a huge fight, so and this uh, was she COVID BLM stuff, right? That's what started yeah, I, it. I think so. And then so my sister actually stayed with me for a few days because it was during COVID. She went to a BLM rally, right? Yeah, and he, and he got upset on about it. But whatever, who cares? He, he claims it's because of coronavirus. Yeah. Probably because of the cause. Yeah, he's just a angry man. But he was like already in bed and kicked my sister out. She was living at home, so she had to stay with me for a few right. days. And so he was in bed, and my brother, who's probably in junior high. Walks up to him in bed. He's freaking watching TV and goes, oh, "Yeah, cause I'd be like, I can't imagine <laughs> three or four years ago. Yeah, he's fourteen. Yeah, I can't imagine just, hey, your dad would not be proud of you. And then Dude, walks out of the just, room. So, yeah, and then so it, I picture your stepdad just like in bed, like his feet don't reach the end of the bed. They're like halfway through, his feet are sticking up. I imagine him in like old man, like yeah. jammies, like he they're kinda, matching kinda, in their stride. And kind of, he's kind of slouched up watching the TV. Yeah, like sitting yeah. up a little bit. He has readers next to him, like. Yeah, yeah, I think he's he just like a readers. little. He's a little meatball in a bed, and then the, the doesn't little, know what's about to happen. Fourteen year old kid, little comes like, yeah, a little albino piece of shit, probably has acne at yeah, the point. Fourteen year old kid yeah. watching and goes, his voice is cracking. Hey, <laughs> hey. your dad would not be proud of you. And then just walks out of the room and just down the stairs. Yeah, I'd probably go, and your mom was probably just like, <sighs> well, my mom was already like, hey, I'm he's por- right. I'm a poor glass of water. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> yeah, but then I think he just like that. Way, Dude, it's wild because I think he just accepted it and there was no like, uh-huh. dude, usually he, he, he would like fuck, heard him crying in the middle yeah, of the night. Usually, <laughs> usually he would fucking snap, but he got to his fucking core, dude, I, which I think is, dude, that makes me cannot, so proud as cannot a Cannot imagine. Like, like a, a child, my child saying that to me. But also he needs to fucking hear because he's, you know, he needs to All hear right, that is shit. Is your stepdad's dad alive? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it worse. He like died. He died probably. He died when I was in elementary school. Um, <laughs> so you probably doesn't even know him. He knew him like as a baby. Yeah. So he doesn't know it. But like his dad. Uh, so like my step grandpa, he was like a pastor. And okay. like You know, like a very well respected man. Oh, shit. And like <laughs> you know, Ray, Ray's just this tiny, angry karate man. <laughs> I got a lot of family trauma, okay? We've talked about it a lot on the podcast. But also, your family has a lot of trauma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My whole life is trauma, I think. Yeah. Because, like, my family had it, but we were, like, able to deal with it. Yeah, because you were able to just have fun and, like, beat each other up on fun. And Right, yeah. And I was just getting beaten up while getting screamed at. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, yeah, when my dad came back, it was fun. When my sister was sick like it was fucking hard but then we were able to actually you were come able to, together yeah, yeah you were able to have fun bond though. yeah over the trauma <sighs> growing up fucking weird yeah very weird childhood weird and, and like it doesn't feel like we're out of it no i still feel like a child and like knowing Even, that my parents had children at this point because no, your dude. mom yeah my mom was pregnant with me at like 22 okay yeah, yeah so she would have yeah. had you at this i figured yeah yeah how long were your parents together uh i think they divorced when i was like two okay yeah. that makes sense i'm trying to think like they might not have even been married 
I think maybe they were. I think maybe they were. Mm, your dad married everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he married it. He started with her. <laughs> and then it went oh, that down. was his first one? Yeah, that was his first one. Out of five? Yeah, but like, dude, at that point, I think they got married at 21. That's because, fucking young. Because she was pregnant? Maybe because she was pregnant. Okay. And then I've heard stories, you know, that he's a piece of shit. Yeah, that's a weird one, too. And then I'm like, I've heard the stories, and I was like, didn't want to believe them. And then I'm like, oh, the stories continue. And I go, oh, you haven't changed. Yeah, ESPN has covered it. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, you pushed somebody down the stairs? <laughs> I th- I'm pretty sure I heard a story that he did that to my mom when I was young. Oh, you're, oh yeah. shit, I thought he did that to his, one of his wives. Yeah, he did do it to one of his wives. So I think it's just a thing that he does. God, like, what? Just his thing? It's like the staircase, but real. All right, so staircase, it was a real staircase. No, but um, the staircase is a documentary about a guy whose wife died at, from falling down the staircase. Everyone was like, no, you murdered her. And she went, he went to jail for like a long time. But he it, didn't do it. It's hard. It's to, hard to tell. I don't think he did. But also, I think he knew someone else who died from falling down the stairs. Oh, geez. But, uh, great documentary. They made a TV show about it, which doesn't make sense because the documentary is so fucking good. The stair- but also, I feel like it's a good uh, alibi because all the bruises are from the stairs. Well, but also, like, fucking my stairs, Izzy could fall down that thing like no other, I bet. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't. Oh, well, we don't go up there that no. often. But, like, but I'm surprised, the- like, when I'm drunk. Well, one, they're uneven. Yeah, it's a skin. So that my hope is that it's such a thin hallway that you can just spread out and then you'll spreading. stop. Yeah, <laughs> but like those are and like because they're literally so uneven. I mean, luckily, like you guys sleep down on the main floor a lot. Yeah, and I feel like when the day comes when like she's pregnant, I feel like you guys will be sleeping because she'll need to be near the bathroom and stuff. Oh, maybe you know, so then yeah. she won't have to deal with it because those stairs are scary. Yeah, and our cats do not help. Cause they run up and down. Yeah, and they're just fucking wild. Yeah, they're wild cats. We got a wild cat in our hands. Get your head in the game. Oh, you're doing Wild Cats High School Musical. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I like that reference. Like it. I was talking about that YouTube video where he's like, where that cat fucking bites him. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the the cop yeah. or the like the sheriff yeah. or whatever. Yeah, he goes, we got a wild cat. Right? <laughs> I say that a lot of the time, but I love how you and get your head in the game. Yeah, took me a little bit to get it, but I'm like, yeah, your head wasn't in the game. I freaking appreciate that, dude. What Stick to the status quo. Mm-hmm. Remember that? I do. <laughs> um, but this has been the Moist Monday podcast. <laughs> um, I was not. Thanks for sticking with us. I was not expecting to talk about this topic the entire time. No, it fucking lasted though. I don't. I also don't know what else we talked about. We talked about a few things. It, it, it rounded out, yeah, but we brought it back we to the original. We brought it back to it to punishment, childhood to punishment. Per- <laughs> so hopefully you enjoy this podcast and it's not too triggering. Um, tell us how. <laughs> yeah, tell us how you grew up. Did you get beat? Did you have to? Did you? Did the cop talk to you? Uh, did you have to freaking give your phone away? Yeah. What? what? Yeah. Let's, no, okay, let's, let's not hear the most sad ones. Let's hear the most creative punishment. Yeah, that's why. That's why I was like the non-alternative ones. That's why I, my my original thing was like I just had to write. I will not do this a thousand times. Okay, like, so like, you know what I mean. Well, that I was, get, all right, so I can share a few about that because well, I got, you haven't even done that yet. No, that's the whole I got, topic. So I got grounded a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, because anytime, because I my big issue was late and missing assignments. And just not trying hard in yeah. school where like they knew I was yeah, smart I enough, try. like that yeah. kind of shit. Yeah, same boat. So I, I was oh, constantly grounded. Damn. And that was like, and that's when you were sending dick pics probably. No, cause I didn't have my phone. Oh damn. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that was, I didn't get my first phone till I was 16. So probably then on I shaped up a little bit cause I was like, I need to send these dick pics. Yeah, I need yeah. to get these booby pics. Yeah. <laughs> that's all it was. It was just dick and booze. Yeah. It was, there was no like... Everything else was scary. Yeah, it was all full. There was yeah. no full news. No, I I wouldn't want... That was terrifying at that age. <laughs> now it's like, if I don't have that, I can't even get off. <laughs> yeah. But um, we I, I remember the dumbest punishment, and I knew it was bullshit when my mom gave it to me. It was after sixth grade, because I remember in sixth grade, we had to do this big project where like you had to fill like a binder, write like five different... I don't remember what it was called, but it was a big project of, yeah. over a certain topic. I did mine on the Beatles. And I did mine on Greek mythology. Oh damn! Yeah. Yours was massive because I did mine. So I, had, I did one on all four of the Beatles, and then like the band itself. So it's five. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I remember I got grounded, and to get out of being grounded, I had to do another one of those about a new topic. And I knew it was bullshit when my mom gave it to me. I'm like, you're not gonna fucking keep up on a month's worth of home. like this. It was the big yeah. Pro- what like, the fuck? This is like what you're gonna pay attention to me writing five different like. So I never fucking finished it. So and she just like, eventually forgot. Yeah. And so there was that. I remember one time we were getting a deck and they had 
my grounding was to rake out all the rocks under where we were going to, it was just a lot of manual labor. Yeah, that manual of, labor. Just yeah. get out of the house and fucking shut up. Yeah. And just, if you get it done, you can have your phone, like that kind of shit. I remember one time, I know we need to wrap it up, but I remember one time, um, I would always get, I would always like back talk because my mom would be like, hey, empty the dishwasher yeah. or clean the kitchen or something like that. And I would always be like, I don't want to do that. You know, all this shit. But I remember one time I came home from school and the kitchen was the biggest mess I had ever seen it. Sure. Like she made it a mess. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck she did, but like fucking disaster. Yeah. And she was like, you got to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> And I literally, I think I, I think I was friends with Josh at the moment. So yeah. Josh, if he, I don't even know if Josh still listens to this, huh. but if he does, I think I sent him like the video, and I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" <laughs> like, I was like, "I gotta clean this up." Like I was so pissed it's off because it was just like everything was out, everything. Yeah, think about how many things are in your kitchen, yeah, and just fucking there was like flour, like it was just like I was like, "How did you make this a mess?" Because it was not a mess. When, uh, it was, All right, it so sucked. Looking back, do you think that was a big wine day? And she's like, I don't want to fucking clean this up. Let's make Robert. Me, I think she was just mad at me and then also was like having fun. Yeah. Because like that's that's how punishment should, if I was a parent, I'd be like, let's have fun with this punishment. Let's destroy the fucking kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> or, and she's just getting day drunk. Like the idea of like, like I'm so excited to have kids and be like, I, go mow the lar- yard. I don't want to. You yeah. can do it. If you do it, I'll give you five bucks. I don't. See, I, I never don't, got paid, but then all my siblings got allowance. So we got allowance and then I don't know if it was... It was more like you got allowance and you had chores, but also if you didn't do your chores, you just got grounded more. So I don't know. It's okay, a weird yeah. f- structure, but also like I'm not against giving kids chores. Yeah, I think they need, I think they need chores. Structure yeah. and shit. Uh, and also and like teach them lessons. And also like fucking make them go do shit. Like yeah, exactly. the fact that my, and it gets them out of the house. Also, like my parents didn't have shovel the driveway for a couple of years. That's pretty great. Having yeah. kids to do that. Dude, when every time it snowed, I'd be woken up. Even if even if it was a school day, yeah, I'd be woken up at like five in the morning to shovel before school. Okay, so I never got that. No, and and so there was some, there was a few times like when it snowed real bad mm-hmm. where I was out shoveling and I was late to school <laughs> because like that's so wild. Yeah, and I was like, I gotta go to school. Yeah, and he's I, like, you gotta finish. And yeah. I was like, no, I don't. School is my job. Yeah, like, what this the is- yeah, what the fuck are you doing? God. Like it was, it, it just was, it was so annoying. That's because, wild. And like he would say like he'd come out and help, but he would take fucking 35 minutes to put all his snow gear on because <laughs> he'd come out in fucking snow pants and it's just like, I'm out there with a fucking flannel on freezing, yeah. just trying to get this done. And he's up to his waist in snow. Just, yeah. just <laughs> Yeah. It's just how we picture him. <laughs> like I picture him like kind of like a Pikmin. Like the way oh, they yeah. move around. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. <laughs> but like you're just with a puff chest. Yeah. And they're just kind of like bad at everyday off like they just they do everything but they do it poorly like you know (laughs) okay Um, that has been our moist monday that has been our moist monday thanks for freaking listening thanks for freaking hanging out hopefully it wasn't too traumatic no i think it was fun if anyone should be traumatized it's him and i already am dude (laughs) sign me up that's why we have this podcast i'm already on the list dude um i'm on a lot of lists probably (laughs) or spectrums Oh, there you go. Yeah. He's like, what list? I was thinking like terrorism or something. I was like, Jesus. Ter- that's your first, you thought I was a terrorist? I don't know what, how many lists Tra- there are. Uh, yeah. That's a different T, dude. Yeah. <laughs> which uh, one's worse? Email us at moistmondaypodcast oh, at which one's, It depends on where you are, I guess. I mean. Or what happens to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Let us know. Uh, send us an email at moistmondaypodcast at gmail.com. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok, Moist Monday Podcast. And remember, if you listen to us on one specific thing, if you're a, a Spotify-only person, if you have us five stars, it's great. If you could also just give us a subscription over on YouTube, that would help. And yes, vice versa. we just got a new subscriber today on YouTube, and his name was Taylor. Shout out to Taylor. That a boy. Hey, I'm bud. sure he listens. But you think, he, you think he listens all the way to the end? No, but I'm sure he listens and is, isn't a watcher, but he just subscribed because we told him to. Oh, maybe. I think that's what it was. At a boy. At a girl. boy, dude. What a good boy. I bet Taylor had great punishment. Well, do we know if it's a boy or a girl, Taylor? Or are they Taylor? Dude, Taylor. Taylor's a girl name too. Yeah, but we're talking about Taylor. Oh, my Taylor? Yeah, you're Taylor. Oh, shit. Oh, you're, hey, you're, Taylor. <laughs> hey, bud. You didn't. I, it's just a Taylor. I don't know. We probably have at least three. Uh, I mean, with our numbers, who fuck? We, Two. May, maybe just but it's one. the Taylor. Yeah, okay. The Taylor. The Thanks, Taylor. Hey, what? Yeah, now it's full fucking a demeanor change. We'll get you on here soon. <laughs> we will. I can't wait for that episode. Uh, but cheers, everybody. Happy freaking Moist Monday. My beer's almost empty, and I got to take a piss. Happy so, Moist uh, Monday. 
Cheers. Cheers. Dry bones, lazy bones, big bones, dance around in your bones. <laughs> You're getting better. I'm getting it down. <laughs> Apparently, this isn't a good one, though. Well, yeah. It, this is like 28 bucks. A lot of them were like 10 bucks.